Hello, it's Janet 16 and welcome to a very messy layer update. Um, the reason it's messy is because I've been working on the layout, not anywhere else, and I've had to move a lot of the stock from over there to do some track work. Um, I'm going to show you a close up. So, let me just move the chair, should have done this all before I started filming. Right, that point was put in not so long ago, um, and if you remember rightly, I was debating station or yard, station or yard, and I really did not know what to build. But yesterday, I had I already had this track here where the tankers are, but then the track behind that, and I was doing a bit of shunting with um, my 08 diesel, and... I thought, why don't I just put a good yard in, shunt wagons around in that, and it's worked really well. So, I've put two sidings in at the moment. As you can see, switch comes off, into a curve, and then we've got another bar. Um, there's going to be another side in there, possibly two more, going right up to where Minion is, uh, Minion of Canada. <laughs> and also this track here, it's got to diverge off into possibly two, maybe one yet. Um, I have got a few ideas for that line of being a parcels line where the express parcels train comes in and there'd be a special platform for that. I think that's a good idea. Um, but it could be two more sided, I'm not too sure. Um, I am still debating to put edge shunt in that. Now this is the edge shunt where the heavy load is there. And I have some sidings up here, but also I've got a switch here, a point, so I'm going to have a track coming down here anyway with some stock in. But basically the edge shunt to all of this is where the track goes off into the tunnel, that's basically the edge shunt um, for these two sidings anyway. So I'm not too sure yet, it's, a, it's like an edge shunt, it's room for trains to run back. But you've got to remember the spur line which comes out of the tunnel, which crosses over the junction onto the tracks. You've got to stop the freight to allow that through. So it's it's possible. It can work. Um, I don't even know if that's the right word. But it's a long job. i got a lot of track to do. I spent like 30 quid this morning. And I've got some of the track work done, which is great. It's the points. The points are quite expensive. They're like, well, I'm lucky to get the eight pound each for them because shot by me. They just do a few model bits and that. They don't really do much train stuff. Their shops um a discount store like with, you know, discount drinks and that. It's nothing special. But the brother, he's he's trying to start his own model railway shop and like me and he's putting his stuff down there, and that's how I'm getting it. So. It's good, the track's quite cheap. Um, the Fletchy track's like £2.70 a strip, so that's great. Uh, apart from that, there's going to be a few buildings over there, but the build up to Christmas now is going to be a very long job. Um, I originally done this update yesterday, but I wanted to get the yard done, because I thought I'll do a bit of the yard and put that in the update. But over here, where the fiddle yard is, all of this will be covered. Obviously not the main line. There'd be a retainer wall right around. But I'm going to build a very nice country scene. Like where the hills go up then. Like banks and that. Um, i got a fair few ideas of doing that. It's all got to be done out of polystyrene at first. No board. No no um, board layer on top. It's going to be a really nice country scene. So I'm working on that at the moment. Just planning how to get it. Polystyrene's on the way. I know someone who can get me big chunks of it, so that's great. Um, they're all going to be removable, the polystyrene, so they lift up and out in case anything happens under here or I need to get to a train. But it's going to be a very nice country scene. You're going to have like the trees, the bushes, the lanes. I may have one main road going over the track and across, and then there'll be lanes coming off that. You know, like a really dense scene where you got a lot of bushes edges and that quite a lot of trees in this corner i want and then slowly spread out to fields and bushes and then i'm gonna have a factory over this area up here with the chimney 
a big chimney. So I think that's going to look great. It's going to be a nice back scene to the industrial side of the layout because the layout is going to be very industry. Um, we've got the colliery there. We're going to have a few buildings laying around, big buildings like the factories over there, all around the back, back scenes as well, and over here. And then as the trains go off leaving the area, you have a few factories up here, and then it's going to slowly spread down. There may be one or two cottages, and then a chapel up here, and then into the woods. And the same down here. Um, this has just got to be green here after the bridge, what goes across. This has just got to be green either side. And then there'll be another bridge here and go back into the in industrial side of things. So let me know what you think on that idea. Um, I'll keep you posted with all of this that's happening on that. It's actually not going to be built on the layout. It's going to be built on the floor. But because they're made to lift up, that's what I'm going to do. Build them on the floor. Get them really looking good. No leaning over the layout. Try and stick some like, fiddly in. It's all got to be done to the top. What do you call it? You know, to the top marks. I'm going to really take my time with it. It's uh, going to be a very nice scene. So, thanks for watching. Um, as for videos now, up to Christmas, they'll just be small layout updates. I've got to really focus on the layout. Um, I mentioned I was doing a running scene. Uh, um, a running video, a train's running. That is happening. Um, but... I don't know when that's going to be up. I want to do a lot of special runnings in it. Um, not too sure about the Elizabethan being in it. Cause I done it on the last one. But there's a lot of new engines I can run. I've got my warship, my country class, which is nah. Um Bittern's actually running without a double tender today. I thought I'd just give him a nice run without it. However, he's met a good train. <laughs> I had to move out the uh, goods uh, side and over there to work on it so thanks for watching and more coming soon bye